Welcome back to Ginger Sadie's Crafts. I'm Mercedes. If you like quick and easy craft and DIY projects, clearance hauls, thrift store flips, and rescue puppies, then you're in the right place. So today's video, I have another thrift store finds video of all the awesomeness that I found at my local thrift store. This is a combination of pretty much one trip and just a couple things from another trip. I found so many awesome things, name brand things for great prices. You guys are not going to believe it. You definitely want to check out this video. Uh, there's so much. I don't even know where to start, guys. So we'll start with the bigger stuff first. So for my craft room downstairs, I picked up this um, kind of like a burlap um, message board. And it was listed at Hobby Lobby. I don't know if you guys can see this. There you go, $13.99 at Hobby Lobby, and I paid three bucks for it. And then I found, I've been looking for like a window because I want to do something with it. So I found this piece here. It's like a wooden window. It's kind of dirty, but I can clean it up. It still has a tag. It says Mix the Media, and it says Jilly Bean. It doesn't have a price on it, but I paid two bucks for it. And then I've been looking for some bird houses to do a flip with. So I found this one here. Dougal says hello. And this bird house was, you know, it had a price on it. Oh, $3. And then I found this gorgeous board house, which I cannot wait to flip. And it has like the bird inside and it's wood. And this one was five. I got this really cool metal piece. I think I'm gonna paint it white and maybe put it on my front porch. This was $3. And then I've been looking for one of these. I think they're so cool. These like milk jugs. And this milk jug was $3. I think it'll be super fun. And these remind me of uh, anybody when you go to carnivals and you would have to like throw the ball and get it into the milk jug. Does anybody remember those kind of games? And then I also, and I've been looking for some wooden candlesticks. If you guys have been with me for a while, you guys know that I've been talking about wanting to find wooden candlesticks for like a while now. Well, check it out, guys. I found a set of three. How cool is that? So they had this big one. And this one retailed at Hobby Lobby for $27.99 for one. And what did I pay for it? I paid $4, so that's the tallest one. And then there's a medium one, which was $24.99. Get some light off of there. Let's see it. $24.99 at Hobby Lobby. And I paid $4 for this one. And then this one was $21.99 at Hobby Lobby. I hope you can see it. And this one I paid $3 for. So I got my set of wooden candlesticks that I paid, what is that, four, four, eight, and three is 11. And it was like the tallest one alone was $27.99. How crazy is that? Yes, Dougal's inspecting them. It says they smell kind of dodgy. Yep, they're a little dirty. They need to be cleaned up. And then you guys, oh my goodness, you guys are going to freak over these. Check these out. How cool are these? Look at that. This one was $29.99 at Hobby Lobby, and I paid, guess how much? Five bucks. I wasn't even sure. I was like, do I really want to pay $5 for that? But I didn't realize that it was a $30 item, so I paid the five bucks for it. And then I found this one that kind of goes, matches it. This one was $24.99 at Hobby Lobby, and I only paid $5.00. So I got these. I think I'm going to put these out on my front porch. I also found this really cool, like, 
vintage table that they only wanted $15 for, and it was like a big wooden table. So I put that on my front porch, and I think I'm going to put those can uh, these candlesticks on there. So when I get my front porch all sorted, I'll do like a little video to show you guys how it turned out. I also found this really cool glass jar. And I don't know if you could tell, but it's kind of got almost a green hue to it. It doesn't have any markings. I just thought it was a cool jar. It was only $2 and it has the lid. I thought it'd be fun to use like during the holidays. I could put like candy canes in it or like little bags of M&Ms or some sweet treats and put it on my counter for when, when I ever have company visit because having three dogs, I can't go anywhere. So if you're a friend or family member watching this video, come visit me. I'm lonely. I need some company. I have a guest bedroom with mountain views. What more can you want? And puppies, come on. Okay, moving on. I found this really cool, like look at this little stand. I only paid, I want to say I paid like maybe $1.50 or $2 for it. I already took the tag off. It was down in my kitchen. I got this cool tray for $2. Now, I've been kind of looking for something like this. And correct me if I'm wrong. My friend told me too. I think these sell for, I think these are kind of pricey. If you try to buy one of these like bowl tray things. So I was pretty happy that I got it for $2. And then I found these super cool artistic appliques. They were a dollar each. So they weren't like a great deal because they were originally $1.99, but I thought they were so cool. So I got that one. And then this one is a pack of two. And then this one is like another pack of two. It's like a scrolly, a scrolly bit. So all, those are all the wonderful things that I found at my local thrift store, but this coolest thing is, so we were shopping, I saw this really cool like oriental looking spice jar with the lid. I didn't buy it. I was like, no, I don't need it. And I, we, we, we walked on and then later on that afternoon, I was texting my friend that I went with and I told her, man, I wish I would have got that spice jar. It would look so pretty in my living room darn it. And so she was with me today when we went to the thrift store to do some shopping. And that's where I picked up the bulk of this stuff. And she met me at my house afterwards to help me unload the table because I couldn't do that myself. And she had bought it for me. She went back to the, the thrift store that afternoon after I texted her that I wish I had bought this jar and she bought it for me. Like, I want to cry. That was so thoughtful. And I it was just such a sweet, nice thing to do, and I'm so grateful she did that because I'll be honest, I was thinking about this jar for a few days. The last few days, I was just like, man, that jar was really pretty. And I just, and it's totally my color scheme. I think it's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. So super excited that I found that. So anyway, guys, that's my thrift store finds today. Comment down below. Let me know what your favorite item that I found was. Also comment down below and let me know, do you guys go hit up your thrift stores? Does anybody go to thrift stores around you? And if so, what's like the best thing you've ever found? Yeah. Dougal gives me love. Dougal's giving me moral support for my video today. Um, let me know what's the best thing you've ever found at your local thrift store. Let me know down below. What have you found that is like the ultimate favorite thing, super score, find, something that Sorry about that, guys. Dougal walked over the computer again. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. It really helps me out. Like this video. Comment down below. Let me know, as I mentioned, what was your favorite find that I found. And also let me know, have you found anything cool at your local thrift store? I appreciate you spending time with me today. I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. And until then, goodbye.